Right then, Nick Krauser from the sunny south coast of Spain. I've just arrived, I'm staying with a few friends down here, avoiding the um, Newcastle winter cold. So what I thought I'd do is I haven't yet unpacked, I just arrived a couple of hours ago, I've been out having a pint. So um, I thought I'd show you guys how I travel when I travel light, hopefully you'll get couple of ideas to make your little Euro jaunt lifestyle a little bit more bearable, a little bit of technology, a few little tips. Now there's nothing um, earth shattering here. This is all stuff that if you sat and thought about it for a couple of hours, you'd figure out for yourself. But I'll just show you how I travel if I'm only going budget airline and uh, I don't want to take a suitcase. And in this case, I'm just going for a couple of weeks. So let's start. Hello. Hang on. Yeah, say hello, Steve. How are you doing? The legendary Steve Jabber, legendary in his own mind at least, and and his loyal following. Ew. <laughs> yeah, I think he's checking Tinder matches. Right then, so this is my rucksack, which was £199 from Fossil. Vendors of watches, luggage and accoutrements uh, all over England. It's very rare to get a leather rucksack, which is male. And uh, not faggoty, but I found one, so fossil. That's my recommendation there. So this is just normal size rucksack, works as cabin baggage. So what have I got? Right, my hat and gloves, because I came from Newcastle in January. You probably won't need those. So right, now we get to the meaty stuff. Passport, of course. Right. Book. I like paperbacks. Um, Kindle is obviously, if you like Kindle, Kindle's the obvious space efficient one. But I've just got this, which is a 1930s economics book about, it's a fiction about a struggling railway that goes trans, that goes east to west across the US in times of economic hardship. And no, it's not Atlas Shrugged, but it might as well be written 15 years earlier. Right, clothes. Again, nothing exciting here. But, uh, I'm going to be... Going at the swim pool at the back there. T-shirts. Right, normally I take whatever, like four T-shirts because, you know, you've got a washing machine. Nothing special there. Book, that's uh, Robert E. Howard. That's, uh, that's, my, that's my synthetic testosterone there, reading that and touching it. Right, now we get to the more interesting bits, so let's look at the uh, bits that really matter. So, start with the most important, the laptop. This is a Chill Blast, £1,000. Really fucking awesome gaming thing. I'd say it's somewhere between PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 for power. That's got all my business and life on it. All right, little hack here. Wireless keyboard. This was like 20 quid. And with that, wireless mouse right why have i got this because not only am i doing my gaming and my um work speaking of gaming playstation controller and what else is in here we'll get to it right and this is a wireless Wi-Fi connection, so this connected into USB lets me play the PlayStation controller on the laptop, which lets me play video games. However, with the addition of the next two things, HDMI cable, right? Take that everywhere because most Airbnb places have flat screen TVs now. So that lets you hook up your laptop to it for watching movies that you download. Then in addition, we have a power cable for this. Let's have a look at this. Now this is my favorite latest edition, mini projector. See, it's very small. It's basically the size of like a Galaxy 3 or 4, but fatter. And this was about 165 pound on eBay. Again, on Amazon, there's millions of them around. This one comes with a one hour included battery. Now you look on the back here, it's got a mini HDMI input, DC in, and you can plug speakers in as well. So if you combine this with that, with this, with a wireless keyboard, 
basically any room that has a lightly painted wall you can make home cinema and control it from your bed or your couch beautiful right, shaver if you want the Krauser cut right space efficiency is a big deal so I've got this as my um, adapter it also lets me charge phone and stuff like that uh, what else we got in here right that's just fucking my little last selection Right, another good little innovation is one of these. Get yourself a Bluetooth wireless speaker. Now this, you can do Bluetooth by your phone or using this little cable, you can plug it into the back of your projector or your laptop and this allows your home cinema to go. It's tiny and it's USB chargeable with this. Right, uh, Union Jack socks, which are always good for pulling birds. And two pairs just to be on the safe side right and now rather than take drugs for state control I have my Mr. Men socks so when I want to when I feel silly I have my Mr. Silly can't remember which one he is does it say nope I'm wearing Mr. Happy underwear adapter USB cable. Right, this is getting mundane now, a fucking toothbrush. Uh, always travel with painkillers and diarrhea tablets, so as you'll see, I've never broken them up. I haven't actually had the shits. Uh, here's what else? This fucking power cable for my laptop. Another USB cable, different size. Then my little R selection stuff. Underwear, yes, I'm doing a video about my underwear. Uh, more accoutrements. Then lastly, what else? Is there anything else left in here? Uh, just, just my rings and keys. So there we go. That all fits in here. And I think that is good for a couple of weeks. You can have everything. You can have your games, your home cinema, get your work done. Um, music of high quality, there's enough clothes to keep going there, bit of reading, get everything recharged, laughing.